I am a creature of the night. People fear at the sight of me, but I'm only seen when I want my enemies to see me. But I'm silent, deadly, scary, and I'm highly trained in the arts of the eight-legged style. My enemies shall fear me. They will... I really think it's past your bedtime, kid. And why are you trying to sound like me? But... I'm an Avenger, Mr. Bat... Man. Aren't you a little too old to be dressing up as a bat? I really don't think you should be the one to talk dressing up like a thief. Well... This is getting pretty awkward. Somebody call the cops! There's a widow dressed up as a bat and a thief up on the roof! I'm, I'm Spider-Man! <laughs>Welcome back to the Ken OE channel, continuing the Spider-Man Far From Home action figure series. Today we'll be talking about the other suit that was featured in the movie, Marvel Legends Spider-Man Stealth Suit, although it just says Spider-Man at the front. Of course, it's not a spoiler, you saw this in the trailers. And since I have not watched the movies yet, I have no idea what is the reason behind this suit. But for some reason, this figure is pretty popular, so I'm excited that I managed to get him, so without further ado, let's take a closer look. Spider-Man, Spider-Man The man in black Or rather, Spidey boy in black Of course, this design looks like it's paying homage to the Spider-Man noir design Without the coat So it's nice to see how they bring other designs like this to the Marvel Universe And putting a modern twist to it And I certainly hope they bring more However, for this figure, at first glance, his neck seems a little long, probably due to how round his head looks and the curvature toward the top of the neck just makes it look elongated. Other than that, the rest of the figure is sculpted and painted really well. I mean, it's mostly just black. People will be really upset if they can't even apply the paint application well using only one color. And there's two tones of blacks used as well on this figure. You got the matte black as well as a metallic black. So it certainly adds more depth to the detail of this figure. And the details are aplenty. You could already see them from the scalp of his head. All the lines engraved and every other lining on his suit is evident. So he's looking really cool. My gripe with this figure, and it may only happen to my figure, is that his feet doesn't stay in place as in it moves up if applied some pressure. Which means if you're trying to make it stand, if this figure happens to lean forward a little, that foot won't be able to hold its weight and the figure falls, which is annoying. Other than that, presentation wise, it's still a cool looking Spidey figure. Spider -Man. Moving to his articulation, head on the ball joint so twist left and right, look up really high and he can look down as well. The usual butterfly joint which goes front and back to that extent, 360 arms, arms move outwards, beautiful bicep twist, bicep flex, wrist twist and move up and down. App cut at the bottom so twist there, typical Marvel Legends app cut there so go backwards that far and he can crunch forward that much but not as far as the previous Spidey figure. Legs can split about that far, kick up that far, kick back, thigh cut swivel, knee flex, feet move up and down, and pivot side to side. Spider -Man, Spider -Man. Moving on to his accessories, he comes with the usual web shooting hands and also face punching hands. And thankfully, he also comes with an interchangeable head where his lenses are up. So that already makes this package more worth it than the previous Spider-Man figure. As usual, you can't tell if those are Tom Holland's eyes, but they did a good job to not make it look cockeyed. Of course, with the Marvel Legends line, you get the Builder figure accessories as well. And this package comes with the big left arm of the Molten Man. And it is really heavy. And it has a lot of nice details on it as well. Not to mention the paint application on it. Why can't we have this kind of precision on the previous Spider-Man figure? Come on, where is the love? It also has a steel bar which you can pack into the shoulder for that added dramatic effect. And in terms of articulation, you have the hinge on the arm, bicep rotation, single jointed elbow, wrist can twist and move up and down. But of course, if you push it too far, it'll pop off. Spider-Man, Spider-Man! And here is the Marvel Legends Spider-Man stealth suit figure, standing next to other figures for scale comparison. So, in summary, 
I really like this package. Sure, his neck is a little longer than I would have liked, but the figure is nicely sculpted, painted neatly, very poseable, and it comes with sufficient accessories to make this a valuable package. You definitely get the most bang for your buck. And we have a serious contender to fight the upcoming SH Figure Arts figure that's coming out in 2020. That concludes my review of this figure. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please help me hit that like button, share it around your Spider-Man loving friends, and hit that subscribe button for more reviews in the future. Do let me know your thoughts about this suit in the comment section down below. And with that all said, thank you very much for watching, I truly appreciate it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Click here for video 1. Click here for video 2. Click here to subscribe. Click it. Thank you for watching. Arigato. Thank you.